Happy Tuesday, Wildcats. Welcome back to a great, to a great week of learning, to a great day of learning. Um, got some reading results happening here. I'm going to put on, a, um, put a little focus on one of them. Also, too, we have a, a learning about an HBCU today, and we have some best buddies information. So let's get to announcements right now. Today is Tuesday, February the 6th, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Wesley Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The mission of Wesley Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. Let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and IDs are on our necks. Our binders and our student organizers are with us. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. Blankets stay at home. Today is a white day with advisory, which means we have advisory block six, seven, with lunch block eight, nine, and ten. All right, celebrating Black History Month, excellence in education. Today, we're going to learn about Spelman College from Jordan Cassell in the seventh grade avid class. Spelman is a private historically black liberal arts college in Atlanta, Georgia. It is the oldest private historically black liberal arts college, and it's a woman's only college. Since you see the home of the Lady Jaguars, it is located in Atlanta, Georgia, which is down the street from Morehouse. It leads in the biology field. Uh, Keisha Knight Pulliam from the Cosby Show is a famous alumnus, along with uh, Mary Wright, um, Mary Marion Wright Edelman, is Stacey Abrams. Uh, they're a couple of uh, very important people, influential people. Uh, the tuition cost is forty nine thousand five hundred sixty six dollars before aid. A lot of times private schools will help you uh, with aid in that kind of uh, situation. And so don't let the price tag like prevent you from going there. And it was founded in the year 1881. Thank you, Jordan, for that focus on Spelman College for this morning. All right, read what you love reading challenge. I have, I have numbers. Right now, the sixth grade is still in this Kind of configuration. Sixth grade is at 30,975 minutes. Seventh grade is at 35,075 minutes. Eighth grade is at 9,446 minutes. Here's the deal then. So I'm going to make a challenge to both my seventh and eighth graders. Seventh graders, if you reach 50,000 minutes, and if eighth grade stays below 15,000 minutes, here's what I'm going to do. The end of the year eighth grade dance. I'm going to turn to an end of the year seventh grade dance for just the seventh graders, and then eighth graders will have to figure out something else. We're actually won't do a dance for eighth graders. I'll turn it. I'll give it to the seventh graders because the eighth graders, God, you got to get off the mat. This is not happening right now. And I don't know what the issue is, but being under ten thousand when your other two classmates are above thirty thousand, that should be a little bit embarrassing. So eighth graders, I need you to do something um, because I know that. Um, you don't want you don't want the seventh graders taking your dance. Come on, let me hold up, hold up. I'll turn off my camera. You don't want that, do you? Come on, come on. You don't want to give the seventh graders your dance. Like you don't, you just don't want that, right? Like this. Uh, come on, do something, something. Um, get your minutes up. All right, here we go. That's all I'm gonna say about that. All right. All right, student council, our next meeting is February 6th, after school until 6th, that's today. Uh, the following meeting will be February 20th, after school. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to join, Mr. reach out to Mr. Melrose through your advisory teacher. There'll be snacks and we will work to improve our school. All right, National History Day is next Tuesday, February 13th, during when is part of period, first period. Please come to the North Gym to see the amazing project. Students, we will host an after school workday Monday, February 12th. For honor students to finish their projects, please meet in the cafeteria. Mr. Melrose will pick you up. All right, Wildcat Focus, writing in your student organizer every class period. Wildcat Focus, being on time to every class. And Wildcat Focus, your first effort needs to be your best effort. Let's clean up West Lane, our language and our messes. Make sure we are throwing away all trash in the cafeteria at both breakfast and lunch. Let's also make sure we're washing our hands for 20 seconds to help prevent the spread of COVID, cold, and flu. Let's go to honoredschools.org and recognize your teacher. That's honoredschools.org. It's yearbook time. If you want to buy a yearbook, it is $30, and they are all orders are due on Wednesday, February 
the 28th. We got a limited amount of yearbooks from last year available for purchase. They are available in the bookstore for $15. Also, group photos for this year's yearbook will be taken on Friday, February the 23rd. Make sure you check with your coach or adult sponsor to see if your group is being photographed and what to wear. If so, best buddies, your Valentine's Day celebration is actually next Wednesday on Valentine's Day from 4.45 to 6 p.m. You're going to meet in the cafetorium. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bellamy in C100. A treat for your sweet. Best Buddies Valentine's Day treats. A dollar Rice Krispie treats selling February 7th, 8th, and 12th during lunch. You can get it for your, your best friend, your boo, your favorite teacher, your favorite assistant principal, your favorite principal. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of different things you could do for this, especially for your favorite principal. If you want to get a Rice Krispie treat and send them my way, that'd be awesome. All right. Also, Robux Raffle. The more roar you have, the, the more roar you have, the more your chances are to win. Win at lunch on Monday, February 12th, and Tuesday, February the 13th. Prizes will be delivered period 10 on Wednesday, February the 14th. Roarbucks need to have student's first name and last name and teacher signature to be counted. All right, let's keep our hands to ourselves here at West Lane. And make sure sixth grade students, you should not be in the seventh or eighth grade hallway unless you are there for a class. Those classes are... Research it and Miss Barry's math class period five and 10. That's the entire list. Uh, PE, you will walk all the way down the office hallway and then turn right at the world language hallway to go to PE class. There's no reason to go by the media center to go to PE or to be in the seventh or eighth grade hallways. All right, pass protocol. Each student gets an average of one pass a week and passes in uh, no pass in the first three minutes or last three minutes of class. In the cafeteria, please sit in your correct table and facing the center. Stay in your seat in the cafeteria, have your ID, stay in your seat until class is called when you're returning from lunch, and walk back with your teacher. You should be there with them when they walk back to class. Also, the bell does not dismiss you from class. Your teacher does. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast, and all food should be eaten in the cafetorium. No food should be eaten outside the cafetorium. Restroom privacy. Gentlemen, please give students using the restroom appropriate privacy. And all cell phones need to be in your locker between 925 and 425. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto. Everybody say it with me. You know it. Cada wildcat. Cada dia mejora. Which means every wildcat, every day, gets better. All right. Everybody have a terrific Tuesday.